Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting with V. <coughs> Sorry about that. If you're new here, welcome. So glad to have you. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. So, um, today I am going to be working on my butterfly night cat is what i named it um i did get this from timu hello beth hi granny how are y'all doing but turn on the light it looks really good in the camera and if you're if you're standing away from it, it really looks good. I was a little worried about some of the purples in here. But it's turning out great. I absolutely love it. Hi, Margie. Hi, Tita. How are y'all? So, I thought I would work on this a little bit. Maybe I can place them on the right drills. <laughs> Thank you so much. I did post this on Tita's Facebook group, and I had several people asking where I got it from. Um, whenever I went to look it up on Timu, it was sold out, but as soon as it, I signed up to get the notification whenever it comes back in stock. So, I will let people know whenever it comes back in stock. They are, they're really pretty. I absolutely love this painting so far. Like I said on the Facebook group, I kind of wish I would have had some glow-in-the-dark drills for the white butterflies and the bottom of the moon. I think that that would have looked really, really good. But, so what is everybody doing today? Um... I have to work in a little bit, unfortunately, but it's just my shift. I always work weekends. I never can decide which pen to use, so I grab a bunch of them every time I work on them. I hope you have some luck with your thrifting, Tita. Um hope you find some really good deals one of these days i'm going to go thrifting myself <laughs> thank you margie but let's see i can at least pretend to try to lay some drills <laughs> i I saw your progress on the painting that you and Tita are doing, Granny, and that is turning out really beautiful. I haven't done a Diamond Dots in a long time, so I may have to pull one of those out here pretty soon, too. Let's see. I want to do, I think, the U's. And this one I've just got in the baggies set up in my tray to work on this. Uh, that was one of the main reasons I started on this one is I didn't have to kit it up. True, I, a lot of times I go and grab one of my budget ones, even though I've normally got at least two bigger ones going and it gives you a little bit of a break <laughs> I love that frog one I I think I've got two Chuck Pinsons in my stash one is the one that we're doing in July, and I think the other one is Bluebird Song. I am sure Stardust will join us here in a little bit. She is over on the bed napping. 
Hello, Melanie. How are you? Hi, Wendy. So glad that y'all could stop by. Um, yesterday, have y'all ever had y'all's... I don't know how many of y'all have grandkids, but... I normally watch Remy during the day. While her mama's at work. Well, yesterday... Axel was sick, so I had him as well. And it was, I don't know, but just having both of them here just completely wore me out. And Axel wasn't acting like he was sick, so I figure he'll be able to go back to school Monday. But... Anyway, they were constantly just coming in. They wanted things, which is typical for kids. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but then Remy was really cranky yesterday. And just the combination of all that just completely wore me out. Um... I normally have all of them after school, all three of them, and I had fixed, I don't go to the grocery store normally till Tuesday and this week, I just didn't get there, so we had limited stuff that we had in the fridge to fix, so I fixed some eggs and the little Smokies and biscuits for their lunch. And Axel did not eat his eggs. Well, he had left it on the table in there. And whenever Aiden got out of school, he came in here and asked me, Nanny, can you recook Axel's eggs so I can eat them? And I was like, no, we don't want to reheat those. Those have been sitting out too long. So I went in there and I scrambled him up a couple eggs to eat as his after school snack. This is also the kid one time that asked me it for corn as an after school snack. He used to love corn. In fact, there was one Thanksgiving, and this is whenever he was really, really young. He was probably three and we were all sitting around the table and my mother-in-law's house is pretty it's a smaller house so there's a coffee table in the living room that we use as well for the kids well he had gotten up from his plate and took his fork and he was going around and taking everybody's corn and you're trying to tell him don't do that. And you're sitting there laughing the whole time while he's doing it. Kind of defeats the purpose of getting on to him. But he's normally a pretty good kid. And then Remy yesterday, she was cranky and... I don't know what it was. She was doing really good with her potty training. And yesterday, she had three accidents. And I think it was just she was more engrossed in playing on the computer. So I made her get off the computer. And the next time it happened, I asked her why she didn't go and use the potty. And she told me, because you hurt my feelings. I could, I could not help. I could not help but laugh at that. But... She was just all in all in a cranky mood yesterday. And Axel, he, him and Aiden are pretty much attached to the hip. They're two years apart. 
So he was constantly asking me, when is Bubba going to get out of school? She is actually four years old, but she had some medical issues. So potty training was a little bit on the late side for her. <coughs> but she, she's doing really good. I think it was just a combination of her not wanting to get off the computer and of her just being really cranky. I'm hoping she's not getting whatever Axel had. Because he was actually feeling better. But she... She a lot of times wears me out. <laughs> um... I have one of my grandkids does not like candy. Uh, Aiden, well, he'll eat candy here and there, but most of the time he'll want something else. He doesn't really like the sweets. Yeah, she was getting really distracted. And I put those away, and I've still got several right in there. Why didn't y'all tell me I missed those? I know y'all probably can't. It's a little bit blurry on the screen. <laughs> <clears throat> but she is doing so much better, though, than a month ago whenever we started this. I was starting to get really frustrated. But she is doing so much better. Um... Yeah, Aiden, whenever he got out of school, Axel was just happy as could be because they could play Minecraft together. He had his tablet charged up and he was ready to go to play Minecraft. And I started working on their playroom a little bit yesterday, not a whole lot. I'm going to have to get some boxes and start boxing up some of my craft stuff. I've even got a sewing machine in there that I have never even taken out of the box. I really want to learn how to use it. I haven't used it since I was in school and in home ec. Haven't used a sewing machine since then. And back then, I know it sounds crazy, but I was scared to use it. Because just I was afraid it was going to sew through my hand. But now I really want to do that and make me some curtains for in here. And I would like to put up some designs that I like. But... I just haven't got that out yet, but I'm going to get some boxes and box up a bunch of stuff in there. And if I don't use it soon after that, I'm probably going to start giving a lot of it away. Because it's been in there for over six months. I haven't used it yet, so I figure it'd be best just to start... Giving it away once I pack it up in boxes. But then I'll think of something that I need eventually down the road and I'll go look for it. And it'll probably be one of those things that I gave away. So. You. Okay. So what color are we going to do next? How about the X's? Which is color 333. It's a really pretty, y'all can't see that very well. It's a really pretty purple. The lighting in here today is not great. It is kind of cloudy and dreary outside, so it makes this room a little bit darker. Oh, 
I know I went to look at some fabric not too long ago and it has gotten really expensive but occasionally I can find some of them on clearance at Joann's so I just really want to do enough in here to make my curtains for this room I know I actually got one full color done so I think it's a little bit easier to do this whenever you're working on round drills instead of square drills. Now, what color was that? 333X. Okay. This is a purple. I love the fact that I'm starting to get out down into these flowers. It's just going to be so pretty. And I think if I can figure out a place to hang this in my mom's room at the nursing home. I'm going to try to make a little hanger for this one after it's done. <clears throat> and take it up there and hang it on her wall. And then eventually I'll start switching them out making different ones with hangers. My aunt that I was named after, my Aunt Valida, she actually made all of my clothes from the time I was like three years old until like nine or ten. And that, well, until shortly before she passed away. But. She made all of my clothes. And she would have probably made all of my brother's clothes too. But I don't think he liked that being the older child. I, I bet. Um. The bad thing is, is I've had this sewing machine in there for probably three years, and I just haven't taken it out of the box. I was all into trying to make stuff to sew, and then I got into diamond painting. In fact, that's about the time that I got the sewing machine was whenever I started diamond painting. And then it's like the diamond painting just completely takes over. It's like I have withdrawals if I do not diamond paint every day. I've been working on my cross stitch a little bit. Did I bring it in here? I was going to show it to y'all. Yeah, hold on. I don't lose the needle and I know this is a little bit harder to see with it being in the okay still in the thing let me nope wrong way but this is the cross stitch that I'm working on and I've been working on this for quite a while. And I've just got a little bit down here on the bottom left to do. So once I finish this one, I can start on the cat one. But I've been working on this whenever I go door dashing. I, it has taken me a long time to get this done, but it didn't help. That I set the threads to this one underneath a stack of diamond paintings. And I lost it for like a month. But I'm getting a lot of progress done. Whenever I go door dashing and I'm waiting to get orders. Hi, Wendy. Or Wendy. Hi, January. <coughs> I, was, I was wondering where you were at this morning. 
I started to say hi to you and I saw Wendy's name on the screen. But it's turning out pretty good. I can't wait to start on the cat though. And then while I was cleaning out that room in there, I had found some of the ones that I'd gotten before. But I'm not sure where the thread is, so I may try to go and buy some DMC floss and try to do some of those. Now that I have a little bit better understanding of how to do it. Of course, whenever I started working on that one, I picked one that was really confetti heavy. But it's, it's turning out really well. I can't wait to get it done. And once I do, I think I'm going to try to sew it, hand sew it, onto a, one of those shopping canvas bags. Or some type of bag like that. I may try to put it on something that I can hook onto my mom's wheelchair so that she'll have like a pocket on her wheelchair for her to carry stuff in. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm running out of wax on this pen. And thank you so much. It is really, I love the way it's looking so far. Up close, you can see all the purples and stuff in the cat, but whenever you step back from it, it looks really, really good. Okay. I'll go ahead and zoom y'all back. Nope, wrong way. Trying to reach up here and zoom it in. I'm not doing a very good job. But... I'm thinking about doing that with the cross stitch. And like I said, this, I'm going to make a hanger for it. If you cut off the sides of this, I think if I get two of those wooden rulers from Dollar Tree, I can put those together and drill an extra hole in it. And then put some type of chain or crochet a piece of yarn or something. And I can make the hanger pretty easy for this. And then just paint the rulers, of course, before I put them on there. So I think that that's going to make a really pretty hanger for it. But me actually getting the power tools out with the drill, I always constantly put stuff like that off. And I was talking and never got the wax that I was going to get for this. There it is. I'm going to use this over here. I do really like the purple Dreamer Design Wax. If you, um, all I'm going to do is it already has one little hole in it. I'm going to try to turn it around and make it to where the other one is even with that hole. And then I'm just going to put like some short little, <coughs> like some short little screws so that with a nut and bolt that you put on the back of it, through those to hold the painting in there. And that way, I might have to do that part before I paint it, or after I paint it, so that I can paint just to cover up the screws. But I think it'll be okay. Those will also be how I hold the chain or whatever in there to hold the whole painting. I've been trying to think of it for a while. And I... What, see, I'm forgetting what color I'm doing now. 
I think it will turn out really well. I've tried to do something similar with one of the 30 by 40s. And with that one, I only used one ruler. That was before I started YouTube. And I only used one ruler, and I used those little brass, uh, what are they called? Breads? I don't know. But you put them through the hole, and then on the back, they're for, to, like, hold papers together. I had used those to do a little 30 by 40 at one time. And it turned out pretty good. So I think with the heavier part of this, I think it'd be best to use the screws instead this time. Thank you, Margie. But I'm going to try it. I'll tr Once I do that, I'll try to show y'all on the screen. I'll probably go ahead and drill the hole in there off screen because... Being my luck, I'm going to mess up the first two or three times. Until I get it to the way that I want it. But then I'll show y'all what it looks like in the outcome. Because I've got like six of them that I bought before. Six of those. They come in a two-pack. And... I planned on doing it to some other ones, and I just never did get the drill out. That is my entire problem. But I will try to make sure that I show y'all before I take it down there. You know what? That is a really good idea as well. I might have to look into that too. <laughs> you are so right about the coffee. Coffee is my favorite meal. I've got my craftably cup today of coffee with French vanilla creamer. In fact, I think I'll take a drink now. my little warmer pad over here once it gets closer to the bottom of the cup the bottom part of my coffee is really really hot I do that's the way that I make all of my coffee is my Keurig I absolutely love my Keurig I might have to try that. I like the... It was like a maple pecan. I love that coffee. And I believe that it... The one that I found, the first one that I found was a McCafe one. But I cannot find that one in the stores anymore. <laughs> Most of the time, I drink the Maxwell House uh, coffee pods. I do like the McCafe ones. The Maxwell House are just like 2 or $3 cheaper. So most of the time, that's what I get. But I'm going to have to try that other one. They're... <laughs> I I have to have my flavored creamer. I have to have French vanilla most of the time. You know, I was actually door dashing the other day. And where I was door dashing at, I used to work there. I was a shift manager there well anyway i stopped by there to pick up an order 
and the manager that I used to work with was there. And she told me, oh, you know they've got a new frappe out. It's like a cookies and cream mocha. And she, she actually gave me a small one to try. That was so good. I absolutely love that frappe. I like the mocha ones. But that cookies and cream was really good with it. So I'm going to blame her if I start going and buying more frappes. <laughs> I love my cappuccinos too. Most of the time whenever I go to McDonald's or Starbucks or anything like that, I end up getting a vanilla latte. But I'm going to tell her next time I see her, if I start coming in here and buying these all the time, it's your fault. Because I haven't bought a frappe in probably two or three months. But I used to go and buy those for my mom. And then here lately, she's been requesting other stuff. So, I haven't been buying the frappes as much. I think I got... No, I didn't. There's one that I missed. Ever since I went to my Keurig, I've tried to go back to a drip coffee maker again. I just can't get, get it to taste the same. So I always end up going back to my Keurig. I know it was there and then I lost it. Okay. But I even bought an extra Keurig for down at the shop. And I go down there to try to find a place to put it. And set it up for me down there whenever I work down there. And I cannot find a place to set it up that it wouldn't get messed up from the workers and stuff. So, at least I have an extra Keurig if something ever happens to mine. I think I had one of those, one of the ninja ones for a while, but for some reason mine did not last very long, so I never bought another one of them. Now, I love my ninja blenders. They can be, they can be really expensive, but... I try, whenever I do my coffee, I try to limit it to no more than two a day. And that's one of the main reasons I get the Maxwell House when most of the time, because it's actually cheaper than the rest of them. I've tried the great value brands, but they're just not as good. I used to go to Sam's Club, and they had a donut shop one there that was really good, but I haven't been able to find it anymore. <laughs> we, we have a Keurig in our office at work at, at my main job, and it's for everybody. And I even bought a thing of pods to go in that one while I'm at work. They give us free coffee in the break room, but I just like the taste of the Keurig pods better. It's been a while since I've had the great, the great value donut shop one. I may have to try it again, but yeah, I used to get the Sam's Club one all the time. And then I would get that 
hump of the French vanilla creamer from Coffee Mate. And that would last me like two months. I know it says on there to only keep it open for a month, but. Very, very true. <laughs> but I think, I think the two Joshes in my house, Josh and Joshua, wouldn't like spending very much time with me at all if I didn't have my coffee. I can be really, really cranky in the mornings before I get my coffee. The other morning, Courtney came down to use my van to take the boys to school because, because they had missed the bus. Well, my van, I still haven't put all the seats back in it from whenever I went camping. So, she had to leave Remy here, and I had just got, I had just gotten out of bed. Literally, just walked in the living room, hadn't done anything yet. And that was a morning that Remy was very, very talkative. <laughs> I need to cut corners but I don't I really don't need to buy any more diamond paintings that doesn't mean that I won't I'm not much I like my lattes and stuff but I don't normally put extra espresso in it I've actually got an espresso machine over by my Keurig that I haven't really used that much. I've even got the coffee grinder and I probably need to get some more coffee beans because I'm sure that since those haven't been in the fridge, they haven't, they're probably not very good anymore. But I think I'll pretty much stick with my <laughs> I know and I still didn't get a chance to do my unboxing this week if I do not get to do my unboxing by our live on Thursday night I will show you all that stuff on Thursday night in the live um, I've got a couple diamond paintings that I'd like to show you and a couple other things to get it unboxed. This week just flew by and with the door dashing as well, I just completely ran out of time. Oh, Granny, I was going to tell you, I heard your, I heard what you said in your whipping chat about where I was at in the Outlander books. I finished book one, but I have not started the second book yet. <laughs> I know I've got to get back to putting out my, my other videos. It's just every time I think I'm going to have time to have a day of recording, it just does not happen. I would love to do my whipping chats, but then I do my whipping chats and then I'm trying to think of stuff to say in the lives. <laughs> That's okay. I'm one of those people who I read a book and then probably couple years later, I'll reread the book to get further in the series so that I don't forget stuff. <laughs> I heard that the other day. I answered her in a comment on that last one. Hey, I managed to get one video out this week. <laughs> But I'm going to try to start doing some more videos during the week. I would like to get it back to where I did three videos a week. 
uh, with my work schedule and the grandkids, it that's about as many as I can do. Now, I could probably do some shorts here and there. And I do, I'm trying to figure out how to set it up so I can record while I'm waiting on, while I'm waiting on DoorDash orders. I don't know if y'all would want to see any of the DoorDash part, but I work on my cross stitch in the van most of the time. And I still haven't figured out a good way to angle the camera yet. But I'm going to get there, I promise. I had to get a sip of my coffee. I had to take it off of the warmer because the bottom of it's getting too hot. Hi, diamonds around you. How are you? So glad that you could stop by. It's just been really hectic lately. <laughs> but I do have two more paintings that I want to show you. And I've had them for a while. I haven't bought any more in a while. But I'm really, really tempted to buy those two. Um, that cat and that dog one that I showed in the last live. <laughs> I, I will be at work here in about two hours or about two and a half hours actually. I have to go into work. Um, today is my Monday. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I always do a live on Saturday mornings. My time, it's 9 o'clock, but it's 9 o'clock Central, and then I do one on Thursday nights at 8 o'clock Central. But um, I get to go and deal with all the truck drivers this week. Hopefully, it was as good as last week. I didn't have any issues with them except for that one. So, sometimes we get some truck drivers in there that are, and I completely understand that they're busy, but they get so mad whenever it takes a little bit to get them unloaded. And I completely understand it. I know that they have things that they've got to do, too. But sometimes it just takes a little bit. <laughs> I think you're on Granny's. You're on Granny's time, Wendy, aren't you? Or close to it. It has. What was I saying? I can see. There goes that little thing. Whenever my mind just goes completely blank. I was going to show you all this. This is the pen that I really like using for this painting. Because I think it goes really, really well. She's an hour ahead. Okay. I I get so confused by the by the time zone sometimes. I've tried to start putting it on the thumbnail whenever it comes out. Cause I had somebody say that they had tried to catch the live. Last week, I think, and they couldn't find it. So, I've been trying to put the time on there, too. But I'm going to start scheduling them, and I'll try to start making community posts on it. 
I always forget about the community post. Sometimes, but as you can see, I still have all my other pins here too. I really, I switch pins so often while I am diamond painting. And this just happens to be the tray that I have in here. I have my other one, my other Bella tray in the living room using it on my other painting. I don't always. Sometimes I do. I do need to start putting washi tape around the edges of my paintings. Because I keep finding little stardust hairs everywhere on the edges. <laughs> that is very true. I do have other trays beside me as well. I have my plain white one just in case and then this one is the type of trays that i used to always use whenever i started diamond painting my daughter gave me one of these trays and it's sort of like the green ones except it's bigger and it's more sturdy and the little funnel part of it works really well <laughs> so I still keep these around and I use them here and there especially if I go places but this used to be my go-to type of tray now I use my I've got a pink Bella or Dave Nicole tray and then this one is one that I bought it craftably but it's also a Bella tray I would really like to get some more of these little, I think they're called essential trays, but it's going to have to wait just a little bit. I know, I, I was trying to type the other day, and I think every word I typed was completely off. But I get in a hurry trying to type if I answer my comments on my phone, you're going to get a lot of mistypes. That's why I try to answer all the comments on my computer. I, I really like the Bella trays. I think it's they've got the deeper grooves in them. But I've only got two of them. I did have one that I bought a long time ago. And it was the longer one. It was the longer Bella tray. And I'd lost the lid for it. So every time I tried to tip the drills back into the container. I would always there would always be some that would fall out on my painting. And I'd left, and I ended up accidentally leaving that in the van while on a hot day, and that does not do well for those trays. And also, I don't have one here, but never leave one of those wax pencils in a in a vehicle on a hot day because you'll come back and you'll just have the wrapper of it i like the white trays the only thing that i do know you're talking about this one right The only thing that I don't like about these is how narrow the funnel on it is. 
I do like those trays, but other than that, my daughter bought some the other day, and I think I'm going to try to get some of those to maybe try with my special drills whenever I get some more special drills. And the budget ones, but she bought some and they come in packs. They're from Cat Eared. They're called something like Trebricks. And they are actually a storage and a tray all in one. Because you'll flip open the tray and then you'll have, it's got the lines in there. She absolutely loves those. So I'm thinking about trying to get a set of those as soon as I can to see how well they are. And I'll be sure to show show them to y'all as well but she's the one who got me started on diamond painting i don't i've never tried them so my phone is over here going crazy oh i think it's just my cameras uh josh probably went to go and check on his mom he goes over there on saturday mornings i hope you have a good time with your thrifting tita hope you find lots of deals you know wendy i haven't what i used to watch rachel ray all the time and i haven't seen i haven't watched hers in a while i think she quit doing as much YouTube at one time. So I was, I didn't even realize she was still on here. But I'm really going to have to try those out. <laughs> now you are going to make me have to go and watch that one. I'll have to look her up once I... Once we are done with the live um, and before I go to work. I thought that she had completely, I didn't even know she was still on YouTube. It, and a lot of the people that I used to watch all the time, I've went back to watch some of their channels. And it'll say that I'm not subscribed. It's like YouTube has actually unsubscribed me from a bunch of channels that I used to watch all the time. So I'll have to resubscribe. I do not think they're as expensive as some of the other ones, uh, especially if you get the smaller ones. Um, I think I was looking on there the other day, and it was either a pack of five or ten of them were like twenty dollars. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna quote that for sure. I'll have to look at look at it to make sure. But Lexi has been getting those and using those as her storage and her trays I'm sure that's probably when when I quit watching so much I used to love listening to her I think it was her that did the true crime ones that told little true crime stories But, hey, I managed to get, I was looking at the bottom of this to see how far I had left to do on it. On this one, I have not been using my wax sheets. I just took a permanent marker and marked off my grids. And then I cut the cover sheet. 
But my gosh, this hour has flew by today. You take care as well, Diamond. So glad that you have you stopped by. Um, we are gonna have to get off of here in about five minutes anyway. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get ready for work here in a few minutes. Uh, she does. I think I love to listen. That's right, Stitcherisa. That's another one. I think a lot of times I would get those two confused. <laughs> Yeah, but I get, well, I wouldn't say I get Tuesday through Friday off work, but I don't have to work my main job Tuesday through Friday. I'm always having the Greg kids, and now I've added door dashing to that, back into that again, too. Which I'm hoping it continues to go as well as it has been. I might even be able to have Joshua to watch Remy for a little bit so I can go door dashing on Tuesday at least lunch hour. <coughs> it seems like I'm busy all the time. I went and saw mom the last night uh, after Courtney picked up the kids. And I was sitting there visiting with her, and I was sitting in her recliner that she has in her room. And I was so tired that I almost fell asleep while just sitting there talking to her. I was like, Mom, I'm sorry, but I've got to go ahead and go. <laughs> if I don't, I'm going to fall asleep here, and I'm still going to get dinner. Which I ended up cheating last night and just going and getting Dairy Delight for everybody. I didn't feel like cooking at all. And I would have had to go shopping. And I told, I had Joshua to go in and get the stuff that he was going to need for the weekend. To cook his meals, but. Hey, I managed to get a few drills down. I didn't get a whole lot of diamond painting done. But I am really hoping that is all that I have left on here to do. Really hoping that I get this painting done next week. And then I'll have to decide on another budget one to work on. But anyway, we've got about a minute left. So... I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to everybody. I got to go start getting ready for work. Everyone take care. I've definitely enjoyed having everyone here today. If you don't mind, hit the like button on your way out. Um, everyone take care and I will see everyone next time. Bye.